It says it's too much. It was too smart. I was like, oh, no. satisfied, you pay nothing! But I pity the fool who doubts Brass oh, Knuckles' methods. I pity the fool! <laughs> you don't doubt me, do you? I pity the fool who doubts Brass Knuckles' methods! Woo! You don't doubt me, do you? <laughs> that, my friends, is our first lesson. Don't be shy, look him in the eye! <laughs> contact is the first part of body language. Another example of body language is standing tall and proud. Pull your shoulders back and feel like your heads are being reached towards the sky. You will look confident and you will feel confident too. Now, to prove that brass knuckles techniques will work for any pony, I'm going to need a volunteer. You in the back row. Brass knuckles wants you on stage. Now! Yeah. <laughs> Take these side stairs! Over here. Keep coming! that is used to deal with the problem and can be used to defend your space. It's being firm with your concerns. Say it with me. Be, be firm, firm with, with your concerns. concerns. My goat. <laughs> it includes both listening and accepting what others say and expressing your own feelings needs, and desires, and I'm here to help you learn these assertive ways. To best practice being assertive, first, you must know yourself and be your own leader. To be your own leader means to 
to know yourself and to know both your talents and weaknesses. And that takes courage. Are there any Princess Twilights in the audience? <laughs> when Princess Twilight was first taking her princess test, she accidentally swapped her friend's cutie marks around. This was a shock to every pony because their talents were what made them, them. When Applejack sang, My destiny is not pretty, but as what my cutie mark is telling me. That was Applejack's way of saying that she knew through her self-awareness that her talents were suddenly her weaknesses. The same goes for you. You have both talents and weaknesses. You have to accept that you may not be the best at talking to other people. You may have totally embarrassed yourself in the past, but you know what? Don't sweat it. You peg aside may have heard Arthur Nicholson's quote, don't block the sunshine of the life's today with the clouds of life's yesterday. Get over your fears and doubts. You're better than that. And you know what? I am here to make sure that you are confident in yourself and are ready to attack the day. Say it with me. Attack the day. Louder. I think we're ready for this. Now that we started off with a bang, I'd like to formally welcome you to Brass Knuckles Assertiveness Seminar. Today I'll share with you even more assertiveness skills. But first, some introductions are in order. We are joined today by my counterpart in compassion, Iron Will Smith. <laughs> We're also joined by my two helper goats, Hanky and Janky. <laughs> They'll be pacing the aisles looking for volunteers and keeping an eye out for troublemakers. Goats don't take no for an answer. So what do you think of them? Let me hear you. But enough about us. Talk about you. How many of you are at BronyCon for the first time? Raise your hands. Wow! Thank you for coming to my seminar. Yeah. And who's here for the second BronyCon? Represent three BronyCons. All right. Do we have any veterans with four? All right. Five. 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 All right, you win the lottery. <laughs> Yay. Is there anyone here from another country? Thank you for coming so far just to see Brass Knuckles and Iron Will Smith in person. <laughs> and are there any children in the audience? All right, if there are, keep your hands raised. Our helper goats have a little something for you. And who's a bit tipsy? Alright, now don't make too much trouble. Remember, these goats are watching for you. <laughs> I am glad to have you all here, but I also know that there are a ton of other people who also need to learn brass knuckle skills in one way to make them instantly jealous that they're not right here, right now, is pick up your phone right now, grab your phone, and send a tweet or make a Facebook posting with the hashtag Brass Knuckles MLP, all one word, and hashtag BronyCon Moments. Let's show them that we rock. Also, donate uh, $50 to Iron Will at PayPal.com. <laughs> Selfie! <laughs> All right, watch that hashtag, Brass Knuckles MLP. You know what also rocks? Respect. Assertiveness rests on the foundation of respect for your own values, and you must be true to yourself. Brass Knuckles likes to say, 
Be true, don't assume. Say it with us. Be true, don't assume. Why? You must respect yourself and others. I remember when Cranky Doodle came to town. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. He just wanted to be alone. Pinkie Pie wanted to welcome him and be his friend, just like she did with every pony else. She didn't know that he wanted to be alone. Pinkie Pie was trying to help, but help is only help if it's perceived as help. Let me say that again. Help is only help if it's perceived as help. Know when you're wanted. <laughs> know when you're wanted. Pinkie Pie had to learn more about Cranky Doodle before she found out that he wanted to be alone. Pinkie Pie learned that there are many different ways, uh, of, there are many different friends, and there are many different ways to express friendship. Some friends like to be left alone, and that's fine too. Come on, we all like to be alone at some point. Now, we need another volunteer. We can't, we can't, the goats are choosing. Are you stepping on their path? No! All right. We need another volunteer. <laughs> Come on up. Now, what's your name? Baking Bad. Baking Bad. How does it feel to have us standing so close to you, asking questions? <laughs> you like it. <laughs> you don't want to know. going on. We are in his personal space, Baking Bad. Personal space is a comfort zone, an aura. It's, some call it a boundary. And it's a space that we all have. Assertiveness rests on the foundation of respect for that personal space, which we all have. Brass Knuckles likes to say, to be an assertiveness ace, respect their personal space. Say it with us. To be an assertiveness ace, respect their personal space. Respected. That's going to be yours. <laughs> have you seen any famous people here walking around BronyCon? Yes, I have. And what was it like when they were walking around? Kind of nerve-wracking, but kind of awesome, too. And did, did you see what the other people were doing as they were walking through the crowds? Uh, some were running in fear and some were charging them. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a great answer. Sometimes we tend to mob them and sometimes we give them a little bit of extra space. Famous people have a larger personal space than the average person and we respect that. Why? To be an assertiveness ace, respect their personal space. And personal space is not just about how close you stand to somebody. It also includes an appropriate emotional distance as well. Everyone has their own beliefs and the rights to those beliefs. Some problems may be based on your own beliefs or values and not somebody else being in your personal space. If you think that something's wrong because it's offensive or it feels wrong to your values, then you're pushing yourself onto their personal space and not the other way around. You must allow others the right to their personal space as well. By doing this, you hold in your hands the keys to assertiveness. Thank you. Phrases, let's go through them together. Be firm with your concerns. Say it. Be firm with your concerns. Be true. Don't assume. Be true. 
Of using brass knuckles methods. She was very shy, but she attended one of brass knuckles seminars, just like you all are today. And she got up on stage just like our volunteers have. Her name was Fluttershy, and she had to be one of the shyest ponies we had ever met. In fact, shy wasn't her middle name. It was her first name, just like our volunteer. <laughs> That's right. Shy is at the low end of, of, and shy sometimes can be submissive. Submissive is at the low end of what we call the assertiveness spectrum. Being shy means that when you talk, your sometimes message will not be clear because you speak shy and quietly, no matter the message behind it. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, we got a prop, we got a prop. Okay, sometimes when you speak shy and quiet, they may not understand the message because you're speaking quietly no matter what feelings you have behind it. Saying something like, well, I, I don't like that, is not the same as saying, I don't like that, is not at all the same. <laughs> and also, when, when shy people speak, they don't make eye contact. And what did we say about that? Don't be shy. Look them in the eye. That's right. When bad things go wrong, shy ponies may actually know, but not disclose. And they may also tend to choose between fight or flight. They will choose flight or running away. When shy, people, uh, shy ponies also tend to put the needs and desires of other ponies in front of their own. Also, sometimes, shy people may have imbalanced relationships, such as Fluttershy had with Angel. And on the other end of the assertive spectrum is aggression. We're all familiar with aggression. Aggressive people may display anger towards others who don't deserve it. And they can be abusive or controlling. <laughs> it can be dominating, overpowering, and not in a fun way. <laughs> and we all know who's been abusive. <laughs> Assertiveness isn't being submissive. Assertiveness isn't being aggressive either. Assertiveness is being firm with your concerns without domination and includes respect for your own values, and you must be true to yourself. Again, be true, don't assume. In addition, assertiveness is not just about knowing that you have needs, but having those needs met. Brass Knuckles likes to say, assertiveness deeds meet your needs. Say it with me. Assertiveness deeds meet your needs. Awesome. Whenever these needs go unmet, submissives like Fluttershy can accumulate enormous amounts of anger. This can often erupt into an aggressive outburst. I'm sure you can all think of a time when you or someone you know just exploded with anger for what seemed like no reason. <laughs> when this happens, ponies like Fluttershy say, you make me lose, I blow my fuse. <laughs> Fluttershy knew that sometimes that anger does add up, but she used brass knuckles assertiveness techniques to learn to be the middle ground, which is being assertive. Now that we've gone over the three types on the assertiveness spectrum, what are you? Iron Will Smith and myself will go over a scenario with you, and we want you to go and think about where you'd fit in this personality quiz. You don't have to raise your hands or, or speak out loud, but think about where you would fit as we go through this. So, here's the scenario. You are in your room, 
and you're doing something that requires intense concentration, like working on your homework or playing a really difficult video game. Or writing fanfiction. Or writing fanfiction. <laughs> Someone in the room next to you has the best of Skrillex blaring so loudly you can't focus. Do you? <laughs> Take a deep breath and try to ignore the music and focus on your work. Or do you bang on the wall until they stop? Or do you do nothing, but in the morning, you write a polite note saying what was the problem and just slide it under their door. Or a very nasty note expressing exactly how you felt. <laughs> or you bang on the door and tell them, hey, stop. <laughs> Chatting with profanity. Or do you knock on the door loud enough to be heard? And when they open the door, you explain that you're studying and you'd like them to turn down the music so that you can finish your work. Which are you? These are all varied levels on the assertiveness spectrum. They each have their advantages and disadvantages, but only the last option was the truly assertive option, where you come to an agreement that is good for both your needs. Now, we've gone through yet another assertiveness catchphrase. Let's go through them again. Are you ready? Hey, goats, get to your signs. <laughs> go faster, come on. Be firm with your concerns. Ready? Be, Be firm, firm with your concerns. Be true, don't assume. Be true, don't assume. To be an assertiveness ace, respect, respect your personal, personal space. space, and assertive deeds meet your needs. <laughs> assertive deeds meet your needs, yes. <laughs> Now I'll share with you Brass Knuckles' patented assertiveness sentence. It includes the following three steps. First, describe the specific act or offending behavior that's making you upset. Second, how does that make you feel? Third, uh, describe the effects of the offending behavior on you. Brass Knuckles calls this the safe assertiveness method, which is specific act, S-A, feelings, F, and effects, E, S-A-F-E. Safe. Safe. <laughs> not, I'm not saving you. You need to be safe. <laughs> As you... <laughs> That's awesome. So when you make a safe assertiveness statement, you also want to keep in mind the following rules. Avoid profanity. <laughs> Value, not volume. You want to keep it short and simple. And be true, don't assume. You want to make sure that you're not assuming that they're trying to be mean to you. Sometimes people may do things that make you upset, but they may not know that it's actually upsetting you. You have to let them know first. Now that you know this is a safe assertive statement, I'm going to go over an example with you. Fluttershy told me that she used this is a safe assertive statement when the Breezies first came to Ponyville. Oh. Are there any Breezies in the audience today? You're in luck because you're the next volunteer. Come on down, Breeze. Is that Sea Breeze in the audience? Everybody, give a round of applause. Sea Breeze has made it back. All right. A Kitty Mark Crusader cosplaying as a Breezy. Next time. All right, come on up. And what is your name? Copper Bit. Okay, Copper Bit, aka Seabreeze, or is it the other way around? It's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, I'm going to go through a scenario, you should remember this, and I'm going to ask you questions afterwards. So, when the Breezies first came to Ponyville, they took their time going home, and Seabreeze kept yelling at every Breezy to hurry up, right? Fluttershy used the following assertiveness phrase to help out. 
You remember this, right? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to speak, he's going to act. Sea Breeze, I understand your feelings are hurt, but it's hard for them to hear you. When you're shouting and being mean, they feel upset because they can't concentrate. <laughs> it's not that no Breezy listened, but that the message didn't get across. <laughs> We had a moving mic. In that scenario, <laughs> Fluttershy used an assertiveness statement. So, the safe assertiveness statement is the specific act, feelings, and effect. So, the first two letters are S, F, S, A. No. S, A. S, A. What? S A F E. So S A stands for? Say specific of act. Okay, the specific act that Fluttershy said is when you're shouting and being mean, they. What's the next letter? Can't No, the, the, the next letter in S A F E is? F. Oh. F for feelings. Yes, you were doing. See, Breeze, I know this is a traumatic experience for you. <laughs> Thinking about you yelling and your young child at home, I know it. But is he doing okay? He's fine. Okay, good. That's good to hear. <laughs> they feel upset. And the last letter in the safe assertiveness phrase is? E. All right, we got it! <laughs> and E stands for? Effect. Effect. <laughs> All right, they feel upset because they can't concentrate. Sea Breeze, you can't go back yet. There's no breeze. Come here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have to give this keychain. Thank you. Now, now, blow it back to a seat, everybody. Go. Not, 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 not too harsh. Not harsh. Pike aside. Make sure you, you got it under control. Thank you, Sea Breeze. Everybody, round of applause. All right, so we've added another poster to our phrases, and I believe that is our cameraman. Come them down. You get the spelling poster. Now, let's go over the following phrases again. Are you ready? Be firm with your concerns. Be true, don't Ready? Come on, Iron Wolf. I know you don't like being assertive. To be an assertive is ace. Respect their personal space. Okay. Assertive deeds meet your needs. And our newest member, Specific Act Feelings and Safe. Specific Act Feelings and Safe. The Safe Assertiveness Method. Great. So, now we know what the safe is. We're also going to tell you the safe, specific act, feelings, and effects. When you're preparing to give a safe assertiveness statement, you also have to prepare for possible negative reactions to giving an assertiveness statement. This is because some people see assertiveness as being critical. Nobody likes to be criticized. But some people will see assertiveness as being critical of what somebody else is doing. These negative effects can include being aggressive, they can debate with you, they can be rude, they might even cry, and also they might be silent. If anyone's ever giving you the silent treatment, they're avoiding the problem. But what we're looking for at the end of all of this, oh, seriously, <laughs> you never learn. At the end of all of this, you want to come to an agreement that's good for both your needs. But if you do get a negative effect, you want to prepare for this by using what we call reflective listening. Reflective listening is listening to observe, not reply. Say it with me. Listen to observe, not reply. That isn't your normal, yeah, oh yeah, I'm listening to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, no, no, it's, it's listening to observe. 
not to reply. And because it's reflective listening, it also means that you are going to be reflecting any feelings in this... Goats, we've got a troublemaker. Don't be messing around in my panel. Reflective listening is reflective, and that reflection is reflecting the feelings that someone else is saying back on them without taking it to heart. This can be difficult because it might be mean. And again, you want to be aware of that. You also want to be true. Don't assume. Don't assume that just because they're being mean back to you after you gave your assertiveness phrase that they actually want to be mean. They may just be reacting to what you said. They're not doing reflective listening, but your responsibility is to do reflective listening and to be able to come to an agreement. Patience is needed for this because of these negative effects. To get through giving your safe assertiveness statement, which is specific act, feelings, and effects, to get through this by giving your safe statement and by using reflective listening, which is listen to observe, not reply, you, it does take a lot of patience and also a lot of iron will. His mama named him that for a reason. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Now, I and Will Smith and I are going to give an example of reflective listening. Okay, we're gonna, his voice is hurting, so we're going to see what we can do here. So, I, we're going to go through an example of reflective listening, where the sometimes aggressive Iron Will Smith is going to be critical, and I'm going to use reflective listening to reflect what he says back to him. Okay, give me your best shot. You know what? I'm sick of this. Your panel is nothing like what I thought it was. I'm taking this back. You, you, you say that I'm horrible at inspiring this audience? Yeah! If you're not aggressive, how are you gonna get anything done? You're, I understand that you want this panel back, but you know what? When you're aggressive, instead of assertive, everyone, including myself, feels hurt because our confidence is hurt. We need to be assertive aces. Remember? Yeah, and what do assertive aces do? Respect to be an assertiveness ace, respect, respect their personal space. space. Awesome. That was a quiz. All right, so we got 10 minutes. We will call up three volunteers to practice reflective listening. All right, we're going to wait for all three to come up on stage. We're going to wait for all three. And one more. So it's going to be All right, are we all in, in a row? Just a little bit this way. Uh, I'm going to stand over here. Okay. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Is that over there? All right. Are you guys on my bow? His mama made that for me. It's true. All right, so volunteers, I want your name. Ori White Deer. Ori White Deer. And you? Alex Hunter. Alex? Jonah. Jonah, thank you for volunteering. This is going to be the hardest one in Brass Knuckles Assertiveness Seminar. We are going to practice reflective listening, which is listen to, observe, not reply. Say it again. Listen, listen to, observe, observe not, not reply. reply. And you're going to reflect the feelings that are sometimes aggressive, Iron Will Smith says. We're going to start over here with the first volunteer. You stand in between those two. Okay. 
Now, remember that whatever he says, if he's not really meaning it, we're gonna practice listening together, okay? Okay, do it. You are a doormat! So, what you're saying is you think I'm weak, and that you would like to hurt my confidence and make me feel small. She would hurt my confidence. <laughs> Look who learned something from Brass Knuckles of Sermon this Seminar! And also, remember, we are here to learn to improve. We don't want to shoot anyone down. Thank you. Thank you, Ori, everybody. All right, next one. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we'll move next. Hunter, you spend way too much money at cons. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out. You don't even know. <laughs> so, 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 no, 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 this, this, this is hurting your feelings because you know what he says is true, but he also said it in a very mean way, don't you guys think? Yeah. 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 Alright, so, so what feelings did he say? He said that I was spending too much money. Oh. Okay, now that was a very mean way to say it. And one of the things is that he could have said it nicer. He was actually concerned about your spending habits. There are many nicer ways, including a safe assertive statement, which is specific act, feelings, and effects. But we're going to use a safe assertive statement back at him. Are you ready to put him down? Okay, so specific act. When Iron Will is... Talking about my money. When Iron Will is talking about your money, you feel... I, f I feel really bad because it's He feels really bad, and the effect is you're feeling really bad because it's your money and not his. You did the whole statement without me even prompting for the last letter. Feelings back on him. I can't handle it. Personally. You guys, you guys hug and make up. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and our last volunteer. All right. That is the dumbest show I've ever seen. It's even dumber. Reflect his feelings back on him. Um, I'm sorry, uh, what? No, don't apologize, defend your rights. Uh, what kind of shirt are you talking about? Are you... No, listen to observe, not reply. Did you not learn anything from our assertiveness panel? Whoa! Now, uh, you were going to say exactly what he said back to you. So, what did you say again? I said that is the dumbest shirt ever. You say, are you saying that my shirt is dumb? Are you saying my shirt is dumb? That's exactly what I said, yes. Now, we're going to give him an assertive statement, okay? So when you say, I have a dumb shirt, you feel... I feel harassed. He feels harassed because I think he's in your personal space. I think you are. <laughs> all, all right, so when you... <laughs> When you do that, he feels harassed. It would be nice if you stepped back and allowed him to wear what he wants because you're putting your beliefs onto his personal space. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it again, Iron Will. I can't believe you, man. But our volunteer has learned to listen to observe, not reply. Okay, and thank you very much. So, another big round of applause for all our volunteers. All right, all right, there we go. Good job. It does take true iron will to get up on stage and especially to face this guy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through our assertive phrases once more. Poster holders, are you ready? 
Organized. Goats, I am disappointed. Okay, ready? First poster. Ready? Go. Your concerns. Yep. Be true. Don't assume. Did you? To be an assertive in this case, respect their personal space. Ready? Assertive deeds meet your needs. which is specific at feelings and effects. And finally, listen to observe, not reply. Everybody say that one more time just to make it sink in. Listen to observe, not reply. Wonderful. Now, Iron Will Smith and myself are going to do a skit. We are going to show you Fluttershy's crowning achievement in assertiveness. Iron Will Smith, would you assist me? Sorry, my voice is a little scratchy. <laughs> Iron Will turned you into an assert into an assertiveness ace. <laughs> he, he knows what's gonna happen. You were nothing but a doormat, but Iron Will turned you into a lean, mean, assertive machine. <laughs> now, pay our will what you owe our will. Um, no. <laughs> what did you say? No. Oh, oh, I really hate to be you right now. Because I'm about to rain down a world of hurt. On if Iron Will doesn't get Iron Will's money, pronto! If I recall. During your workshop, you promise 100% satisfaction guaranteed, or you pay nothing. Well, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> not satisfied? Everybody has always been satisfied. Well, I guess I'm the first then. But since I'm not satisfied, I refuse to pay. It's as simple as that. Oh, maybe we can cut it. We're both reasonable hey. creatures. But I, I think you might need to talk to your goats about this. Goats? by saying an assertiveness phrase, don't be shy, look him in the eye, and she also said no. No can be one of the hardest words in the English dictionary for some people to say. And Fluttershy said no by effectively not paying for the assertiveness seminar, which bears repeating, if you are 100% satisfied with brass knuckle skills, you pay nothing! nothing. I learned that you can never expect every pony to learn the same way. Fluttershy taught me something new, and now I share it with you. Woo! Oh! I also been hanging out with Zakora. I also learned that every pony, including Fluttershy, can learn to be assertive using brass knuckle skills, and that includes you. At the very least, by now, you should have learned the following assertiveness catchphrases. Oh, look at them go. This is great. Good job, guys. All right, ready? Go. Be firm with your concerns. Be true. Don't assume. 
To be in assertiveness ace, respect their personal space. Assertive deeds, meet your needs, play it safe, which is specific act, feelings, and effects, and listen to observe, not reply. the harsh reality beyond these doors, try and remember to have an iron will. Hey, 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 you don't want to leave yet. The best is yet to come. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends or counselors. And also remember to be prepared for the negative reactions that we talked about and act on them by listening to observe not reply. <laughs> this is great. You guys almost got it. Almost. almost. Oh, okay. Wait. Say it again. Ready? Listen to observe. Not reply. All right. You got it. You got it. Good job. Woo! Give yourselves a round of applause. You can do it. You can be assertive as aces, too. Don't you pity the fool who didn't attend today? You can say it. I'll pity the fool in the tent today. Speaking of those poor unfortunate folds. <laughs> I had to do that. I hope you've all been tweeting and posting using the hashtag brass knuckles MLP all one word. In addition, I have an ask blog at askbrassknuckles.tumblr.com. We, we may have 10 minutes for questions and answers, which we'll get to in just a moment. But if you are still a little bit worried about getting up in front of people, you can ask at askbrassknuckles.tumblr.com. And we have swag. Like my assistant goat is wearing and this nice bag. We have iPad covers, iPhone covers, you can find them all at askbrassknuckles.tumblr.com. And did I mention that you don't have to pay anything for this seminar? Well, you don't have to pay anything, but if you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal donate button on askbrassknuckles.tumblr.com. Oh, thank you, very generous. Uh, you you want to put that in our PayPal account, right? Yeah. <laughs> Your money that you donate will go to getting brass knuckles to future conventions. And if you do want to see our show at future conventions, tell a convention planner. We are more than willing to talk about other things that we didn't have time for today. Just let us know. Askbrassknuckles.tumblr.com. So, I have one last piece of advice for you, which you're going to love. It is a saying by Thane Yost. The will to win is nothing if you don't have the will to prepare. Be prepared. Before giving your safe assertiveness statement, write it down first and maybe practice with a friend. After all, no, you come over here. After all, it takes two to tangle. <laughs> You can do it. You can be assertive too, but it does take practice and time. I've spent my whole life practicing assertiveness skills. I've done meticulous planning, practiced assertiveness spanning, decades of trial is simply why I will be queen of Disputed, respected, saluted, and seem the sort of wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. Yes, sing it with me. Yes, our teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. Thank you, everybody. Minutes. And if you don't want to ask questions now, ask for us knuckles.
www.tumblr.com. Be assertive. Clownsdale Congress? Yeah! That's us. And this panel should be, if the panel people are listening, it should be presented there as well. Uh, we could be presenting at schools, however, that's not something that we've ever thought about. So definitely, uh, we'll keep in mind, keep in touch with us. Like, stick around afterwards. Thank you very much. All right. All right, next question. No, I'm shooting for this, but I'm a retired licensed clinical social worker, and we have a little statement that we give to everybody that totally illustrates what you just said, and it says, I feel blank when you blank because blank. Our state assertiveness statement. Do you approve? Oh, give me a hug. Thank you. We do know the difference between aggression in the show and assertiveness now. Next! Uh, Iron Will Smith. Do you <laughs> think you can do an impression out of Samuel L. Jackson? You can have Samuel L. Jackson say one thing. Question for uh, Iron Will Smith. Can I have a hug? Yeah! 